Welcome everyone to the first installment of this month in Microsoft Teams. My name is Tim Homan. I'm a project manager with Peters and Associates. And one of the areas that I was tasked with was to become the subject matter expert for Teams. So let's get started with our first session. And today we're gonna to talk about chat. So quickly, how can Peters and Associates help you with that? So this is our Teams, you know, rollout wheel. Um, we've broken it down into four different areas. We will do, we can do envisioning and readiness. Uh, I really recommend anybody that's starting to use Teams uh, really thinks about governance. You're going to be putting a lot of information into Teams and you want to make sure that that's um, secure. That kind of all leads into an adoption um, area where we will do training. I've done a lot of custom training for customers. And then after all that, you know, we get an engineer involved and they make sure all the buttons and dials are switched properly and uh, mail and calendar and all those things are working properly. So the first um, area I want to focus on is it's persistent chat. And that kind of makes it stand apart from other chat applications. And I wanted some kind of graphic to represent, you know, what does that mean, persistent chat? And I view it as um, just a growth in knowledge over time. So from your first chat to your last chat, um, it's all stored in there. The most basic way to use the application is just click on the chat application in the app bar and it pulls up your right recent chats, your favorites that you've pinned, and you can just start typing a message. So you can add up to nine people, you can name that um, group, and then they all have that same functionality where it's persistent, you can share files between users. So it's just taking your private chat to the next level. By sharing files within chat, you can work on the document in real time and you're both working off the same version. Taking that a step further, and this gets into more of the Teams core functionality, it's using a Teams site. This would be a Teams site, AdventureWorks. This would be the marketing channel. Um, this is a little bit older slide now, they're called posts, but it's just like your private chat, but now it's specific to content. So next month, I'm gonna cover Teams meetings. It might be a little longer session because there's a lot more you can talk about with meetings. See you in a month.